guys, so today I'm going to do a little kind of makeup tutorial, everyday makeup look kind of thing. This is the brown smoky eye that I've been wearing a lot recently. If you read my blog and see my what's in my face posts, I've done this combo quite a few times and I kind of like it. Dewy skin, brown smoky eye and a new lip product as well. So thanks for watching and enjoy. So I've just clipped my hair back and I'm going to get started. As you can see, my skin isn't great at the moment. I get kind of little bumps under my skin and it's a bit red in areas but it's alright. I've already put on um, my Clarins Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch Primer which I'm trying at the moment, I quite like. It's a little bit kind of greasy feeling for me but it's okay. And then I'm going to use um, my Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. I just put this all over and it's a really nice glowy finish. I really like this as a base under makeup, it gives that kind of dewy look. And then I'm going to be using a combination of Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation and this is because this is probably the lightest foundation I have and my skin is really pale at the moment and this is in the colour Cream Ivory but I do find it quite thick and a bit like paint-like so I'm going to mix it with a bit of the Clarins Instant Light Complexion Perfector in 00 Rose Shimmer and this kind of just thins it out and makes it easier to use. So I just put them both on the back of my hand and then just rub them together and kind of mix them up. And then, just using my finger while it's all rubbed in, I just dab a bit of foundation in the places where I want it. And then I'm using my Real Techniques Buffing Brush just to buff that in all over the skin and really work it in so it has a natural finish. I only really use this brush for heavier foundations. I normally use my stippling brush for any kind of lighter ones, but with this kind of foundation I think the buffing brush works the best. Just really work it into the skin. I always go down a bit onto my neck as well, so it looks natural. And then what's left on my hand, I always just take a bit and add it anywhere that I need extra coverage. So the foundation's done and I'm now going to use my favourite um, concealer combination, which is the Bobbi Brown Corrector in Light Bisque, and I'm just using a Gemma Kid brush to put this under my eyes and this really helps to get rid of my dark circles which as you can see I have really badly at the moment. And then I just blend it out using a MAC 224. I really like using a brush for under eye concealer because it means you're not dragging your eye with your finger which obviously causes kind of wrinkles and stuff and I just also think it gives a nice flawless finish. I then take my Origins Plant Scription Concealer which I absolutely love, add a bit more under my eyes where I need a bit more coverage down my nose, around my nose, and on my chin. And just blend that out. I love this concealer because it's really moisturising, it doesn't leave like a cakey look on your face. Okay, so now I'm going to go onto my eyes because I'm doing a bit of a kind of smoky eye look, so I'm going to do my face afterwards. And I'm going to use one of the Estee Lauder new Stay On Shadow Paints, and this is in Chained. I talked about this in my monthly favourites video, and I absolutely love it. It's a gorgeous bronzy colour. I'm going to use a brush because it's quite a moussey formula, so I prefer using a brush. And just sweep that all over the lid. It's really easy to blend, but you do have to kind of be quick. Blend it over the other eye. I'm using a MAC 217 for this, which I love for blending. I'm also going to take a bit of the same cream shadow just under the eye. I'm going to put another eyeshadow on top, so this kind of acts like a primer, and it makes the eyeshadow grip to it really easily. The eyeshadow I'm going to use on top is from the Urban Decay Dangerous Palette. I think it's the Dangerous Palette. And it's the colour Deeper, which is this one here, and it's a really nice bronzy colour and I've just loved using this recently. You'll probably, if you read my blog, you would have seen it in quite a few posts. And it looks really nice over this cream shadow. So I'm just going to take a bit of that on a different 217 brush. Um, take the excess off in your hand because these are really pigmented shadows. And then just apply that on top. I'm then going to take the 217 that I used for the cream shadow and use that to just blend it out so the edges aren't harsh and they're nice and soft. I love this colour, it's like an antique bronze. I've had a tiny bit of shadow fall down, so I'm just going to take my foundation brush and just blend it out. I'm then taking a smaller brush and some of the Urban Decay eyeshadow and just taking that under the eye. So that's all the eyeshadow done, and to finish the eyes, I'm going to use a brown eyeliner, and this is the NYX or NYX one. 
um, and I just like using a brown eyeliner to kind of finish off the overall eye look. So I'm just going to run this across the top lash line. I'm trying to keep it quite close to the lashes because I don't want anything too dramatic. And then I'm taking the same small brush that I used under the eye and just blending that out a little bit so it's softer. These NYX eyeliners are so creamy and soft, I love them. Then just make sure the corners add together nicely. Okay, so the eyeliner's done and I'm going to use my favourite mascara at the moment, which is the Clinique High Impact Extreme Volume Mascara. And just watch this mascara, it's incredible. It gives so much length and volume, I absolutely love it. And I'm just going to do the top lashes because I don't really tend to do the bottom ones unless I'm going on a big night out. So then onto the face and I clearly need to warm up my face, it's very pale and it, with the brown smoky eye it makes me look even more pale. So I'm going to use the Jouer bronzer and this is the hydrating bronzer which I really really like. I've run out of my NARS one but this is kind of just as good. And I'm just going to put that in the contours of my cheeks and up to my temples. I'm just using a Real Techniques blush brush which is my favourite for bronzer. I'm also going to take that down onto my neck a bit so that my face doesn't look too much darker than my neck. A little bit down my nose. You can see that's kind of warmed up my face quite a bit. And for blusher I'm going to use MAC Stereo Rose because this kind of doubles up as a blush and a highlight. I didn't want to use a highlight as well because I've already used kind of the Radiance Primer and the Clarins Instant Light. So I'm just going to take a bit of this and put it on the back of my hand. And then because it's kind of a highlight I'm going to use it a bit higher up on my cheeks than I normally would with my blush. I think it's really pretty, I really like it. And that's the blusher. And then, I think that's kind of everything. I'm just going to finish with the lips. I'm going to use one of the new Rimmel Apocalypse, which a really cool kind of a lipstick, lip gloss combo kind of thing. And this is in the colour Celestial, which is a very rosy pink natural colour. So it goes on really liquidy, as you can see. And then I'm just going to blot my lips because it's a little bit wet for me. And I like that kind of blotted matte look. And that's the final look, so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!